right what is up everyone welcome to the full moon workshop i'm just getting my notes here ready to go perfect okay Whew. <laughs> pisces pisces is emotional so could be experiencing a lot of old emotions or old belief systems old fears coming back up we're also in the pre shadow period for mercury retrograde um i will have a workshop for that also in the future of course i had a lot of people asking me about that yes um the link is actually below for signing up early bird we've got a six of wands here so we have new success we have new opportunities for expansion we have new connections we have new growth um, and improvement and leveling up and it's happening but right now specifically like about today and you know the next let's say six weeks because mercury will be going retrograde in libra so we're focusing a lot on how we relate to things relate to our identity um well really our old identity that we don't feel that we are relating with now so we want to clear that um as we welcome in this new identity and a new vision for our future but the Pisces full moon is going to help us clear out any doubts we have um, around that new future because a lot of our doubts are not like innate, like you're not born with doubt, um, you're given that doubt, right? So maybe from parents, teachers, society, whatever, uh, maybe your old self, your old ideas of what you thought was possible for yourself. Well, like that changes over time. And as you understand that other people project and set up their limitations onto you and you feel stuck well when we begin to grow those limitations we take them all off and we clear it out right so i've got this eight of swords this eight of swords saying what old programs what old ideas what old energies or belief systems or people or social groups that we're involved in do we not resonate with now we feel like we've already outgrown them and maybe they're falling behind or whatever it's not a race but it's just like bitch we're not on the same page so why am i still here you know what i mean we've got this ace of pentacles so this is new opportunities expansion growth money jobs this is also um new focus on the body on routine on behavior um health etc this is reversed because we're waiting for that to arrive, for all of that clarity to come and to show up. It will come, it will be here, yes. But first, Eight of Swords, we need to clear that old programming, those old ideas and the self-limitations. Why? Because we have success coming, but we can't maintain the success and we can't continue to expand if we're still operating from these old programs that tell us we can't or we're not good enough or we don't deserve love or whatever this justice card reverse this is saying that karma has been paid off like we're done with it so you already learned that lesson why would you continue acting how you used to act when you um didn't know that lesson or when you were learning that lesson it's like now you have the lesson you've learned it it is there now we are applying it moving forward right so <sighs> a lot of fears, a lot of doubt, a lot of insecurities, et cetera, old ideas, old issues, energies from the past, they're coming back. Just let them come in, come up, observe them and detach because all of your emotions, all of your feelings, they're not real. Just because we feel scared doesn't mean we have to be scared. Just because we feel like we can't do it doesn't mean it's true. You know what I mean? Those are old programs, old energies from other people, and they stick to us. So today we're going to focus on an energy clearing. Of course, that will help you remove all these things. I'm going to talk a little bit about the astrology. Um, I've done some tarot. I'm going to pull some oracle. And uh, yeah, we will just get into it. So let me... Um, First of all, say thank you for coming. Um, of course, this is pay what you can. The donation link is below. And thank you for all of the donations. This is my job, like literally. So I really appreciate them. And I ask the universe return them back to you tenfold. Um, a little bit of information about Pisces. This full moon um, will influence all of us, of course. If you are a mutable sign, so Gemini, Pisces, um, Virgo, and um, not Taurus, not Capricorn, 
Virgo. Oh, I'm missing the fire sign. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. So if you are Sagittarius, Virgo, Gemini, or Pisces, you are a mutable energy. Um, so you will feel this like amplified probably. Um, second to that, we will all feel it because it's Pisces and it's deep emotion. <laughs> um, Pisces, again, mutable energy, which means we can become um, different. We can change, we can adjust. And as we're starting a Mercury retrograde very soon, it's going to be a time for reflection, reassessment, reimagination, readjustments, et cetera. So this is a really good opportunity for us to clear out everything that needs to go so that we can adapt and shift into that new higher timeline, that new chapter, that new cycle, right? Um, Pisces is connected to Neptune, which is connected to the soul, our soul's journey. So a lot of good things also happen during a full moon. It's not only emotional roller coasters and up and down and confusion or whatever. It can also be seeing that what we've been establishing for ourselves is starting to work. We're starting to get some results. Um, we're starting to have different conversations about the new directions we want to move in and we're feeling more supported. Um, it doesn't need to be everyone supporting us, of course, especially with a Pisces energy because Pisces is very um, dreamy and they sometimes dive into that fantasy world and they need to like come back to the real world and figure out how to connect it and to apply that vision so they can actually make it happen. That's what that access is with Virgo and Pisces. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm always going to explain it. The access well, in the sky, um, all of the um, zodiacs have a part of the sky. So if you were to look at it, it looks like a wheel and that wheel looks like a pizza and it's sliced up into 12 slices, right? So each slice has an opposite slice because it's a wheel. So these two slices. So that line that they share is called the axis. So the Pisces axis is with Virgo, the Virgo Pisces axis. One side is Pisces, which means deep spiritual awareness. Pisces is connected to the 12th house, which is connected to um, leveling up, like literally your soul's journey, understanding, learning lessons, and literally leveling up. And then on the opposite side, we have the sixth house, which is Virgo, which focuses on body, physicality, process, how to do things, behaviors, job. So. This full moon is really asking us to be aware of our Pisces energy, our soul journey, our soul's um, calling, and how to balance that with um, the practicality of actually doing things that are in line with the soul's journey. Um, also focusing on healing the body during this past Virgo season, and Pisces focuses on healing the soul. So we have this sort of ethereal, universal understanding, and then we're being asked to apply it to our real world so we can make it work, make it happen. If you're dreaming about something, there's a reason. Your guides, the universe, God is giving you a special gift, is giving you information for you to actually apply to the physical world. So use that imagination, use that deep knowing and figure out how to mix that with that Virgo energy, how to actually make it happen and go with it. Um, the only thing that really holds us back from that, from being able to go forward is our old thoughts, our old ideas, these old programs, the other things that people told us that we thought we had to believe. So like it's bullshit and we're fucking done listening to other people tell us what we need to do for that. It's like, we're done, we're exhausted, we're over it. So now is the time to um, learn how to really trust yourself and to follow your intuition. It's also really important for rest because rest and recovery and balance, what is balance? Balance is not always 50-50, right? And I'm going to get more into this um, during the uh, Libra season and the fall equinox workshop. The link is also below for the early bird. That's gonna be this Wednesday. But like we're moving into Libra season. So now we have a different understanding of what balance means for us because it's not always 50-50. It's not 50% work, 50% fun. Maybe it's 75% fun, 25% work because that's 
how much fun and how much rest and how much enjoyment we need so we can have the actual energy to apply it and get work done. You know what I mean? So we're really trying to figure out what balance means, what balance looks like, and how to listen to what our soul needs and to match that with actual action. Um, okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Some of the numerology, so nine is September, the ninth month, so nine, and then the 20th. So the two zero, the zero we just dropped. So it's two. So we have nine and two, which becomes 11. And then 20, 21, two, two, and one equals five. So we have 11 and five. You put those together. Oh, excuse me, 16. Sorry, I just had like <laughs> freaking soda pop. Not pop pop, just like soda. Anyways. Whew, I'm like, but okay, I'll stop burping. <laughs> Seven is the point. Wow. Seven focuses on awakening, on new perspectives, on sudden change, on downloads from the ethereal realm. So this is a big opportunity to connect with our soul, with our deep awareness and connection to our higher self. That is what is connected to the number seven. That is also connected to Neptune. Neptune is the ruling planet for Pisces. See how like perfectly blended this is? Neptune represents seven. Seven is connected to Pisces. This is a full moon in Pisces. So like if you're feeling confused about your next steps, if you're feeling like you know what you want to do, but you're like, oh, how do I actually do it? Now is the perfect time to plan that. And moving forward into a Mercury retrograde, we have six weeks-ish to actually sit down and figure out what is working, what's not working, how to clear it out, how to release it, and how to replan our future for a better, more successful um, result coming up, okay? Um, the last thing I wanna talk about before we start the energy clearing and the short meditation is just some of the astrology. So um, we already talked about the full moon is in Pisces. It is conjunct, which just means together. It is conjunct Neptune. So um, Neptune is really influencing this moon, which means we are having higher knowings, higher um, level downloads, telling us what to be doing for the next steps. Maybe not today, but over the last maybe week or up until, I mean, it could really be the next like 12 weeks, but a lot of new ideas downloading and coming through so that we can find more um, alignment with our soul's journey. We're really, really, really being asked to trust also, okay? The other thing I want to talk about is that there is a sextile to Pluto in Capricorn. If you're like, what the fuck does that mean? It means that this change is permanent change. We are focusing on changing our structures, our life, our behaviors. Like that is a long um, process. And when we actually decide and take action to change all these things, they last forever. You know what I mean? Or at least that's the hope. We like really try to maintain them. So this is big, deep, heavy changes. This is not easy. And this is one of the top most healing full moons of 2021. So you being here for this, like pat yourself on the back, seriously. Um, the last thing we have Mars in Libra and Mercury soon to go retrograde in Libra. So what do we want from our relationships? How do we want to interact with people? And um, what is really like worth our time, our energy? We're gonna be doing a lot of reflection over that over the next little while, okay? Um, I guess that's it. So I'm going to start now. I'm going to light an incense. I'm going to light um, incense because I'm not using sage as often. Obviously, um, I suggest that you think about your use for that. Um, also, it's really important. I just want to acknowledge like majority of people here are settlers on the land and they are not Indigenous people, but Indigenous people were here long before us. So we have um, a responsibility for that reconciliation. Just important to recognize that. And um, please caption your videos, your content, whatever. Hire an interpreter if you're hosting an event. Deaf people want to be included, okay? I'm going to light my incense now. If you have a candle or an incense that you want to light, go for it safely, please. 
Um, okay, we are going to start with the energy cleanse and then the meditation is going to start right after it. I'm going to play some music. I'm going to play some music. All I need you to do is visualize a green fire um, burning in front of you on the floor. So if you're ready, you can just close your eyes now and we can just take one deep breath together. So inhale, two, three, four, and hold and release, two, three, four. So I want you to just envision that green fire burning in front of you on the ground. And your aura, which is like an egg-shaped energetic field around your body, it picks up a lot of debris um, just over time. So we are going to help clear that. So I just want you to envision this energetic body around you. And any place you see something or you just intuitively feel called to go and to clear that area, I want you to just use a golden comb that's in your hand and just comb it out and just toss it into that green fire. So as you visualize that and continue with it, I'm going to use some distance energy clearing symbols and I'm going to play some music for you to help enhance that. So just keep combing and tossing. Now you can keep your eyes closed and envision that white light is pouring down from above you and it's just washing you clean, enhancing your immune system and bringing your body back into better balance. So you can just envision white light pouring down. I'm going to use different symbols now to help re-protect yourself and just bring some more life into your energy field. We're going to start this meditation by taking three deep breaths. So I want you to inhale, two, three, four, and hold. And release, two, three, four. We're going to do one more, just really relaxing the jaw and filling the belly. So inhale, two, three, four and hold and release two three four and one last time the biggest breath you can take inhale two three four and hold and releasing it all release two three four this Pisces full moon is helping us release deep emotional wounds, dependencies, 
attachments to old stories and illusions that no longer serve us. So the first thing I want you to focus on, the first thing I want you to visualize is some sort of toxic attachment style that you have. Can be to a person, a situation, maybe an old grudge, maybe there's a dependency or an addiction that is blocking us from moving forward into a higher vibration. What comes to mind when you think about toxic attachments? Is it food, sex, drugs, drinking? What old belief systems or old behaviors? What old people are we still attached to? Are we dependent on? Maybe there's old stories or old energies or old cycles that keep playing out in our lives because they're comfortable. Just because it's comfortable doesn't mean it's good for us. So I want you to envision one of these attachments or a few of these attachments, these dependencies, these addictions. How does that make you feel? I want you to feel that energy in your body I want you to see, see that energy, see that person, see that situation in your mind. And I want you to say to yourself, I give myself permission to release this. We're going to inhale, two, three, four, and we're gonna hold. We're gonna release all that energy on the exhale. So exhale, two, three, four. The next thing I want you to think about are some of the illusions that maybe influence you a little bit too much. Maybe these are old ideas of something you wanted to do but another person told you it was impossible. That will never happen. That's an illusion. You thinking that you need to get married, have a white picket fence, that you need to follow this societal structure, that too is an illusion. We also carry around our own illusions that have been given to us from family, from partners, from friends. Maybe they're related to not enough time or you don't have enough money or you don't have the right skill set, or the right people will never show up. Whatever these old ideas are, whatever these illusions are, or these energetic blocks to abundance, to your dreams coming true, whatever that is, we wanna focus on releasing that now. So I want you to visualize or keep in mind some of these stories that we tell ourselves some of the stories and the illusions that others have told us, that others, for a moment in time, have sold us on. Where does it no longer feel true to you? I want you to think of these people, think of these things. I want you to hold that energy in your body, hold that emotion in your body, and I want you to say, I give myself permission to release these illusions. We're going to inhale, two, three, four, and hold. And we're gonna release those illusions on the exhale as we exhale, two, three, four. Now the last thing I wanna focus on is a deep wound that maybe we've been clearing for a while. Maybe we feel we've already cleared the majority of it. Maybe it's something that's fresh, but still so deeply hurts us. It could be from childhood, from a past lover, 
could be from experiencing deceit, lies, cheating. Could be something you experienced, could be something you did to another. And maybe you are deeply wounded for how you could have hurt somebody like that. I want you to think of one of these wounds or a few of them. I want you to think of some of these situations or these people. And I want you to feel that energy in your body, feel that shame, that hurt, that pain, maybe that guilt. And I want you to say, I give myself permission to release this pain. I want you to inhale, two, three, four, and hold. And we're gonna release the pain on the exhale as we exhale, two, three, and four. And I want you to take a second to give gratitude for these lessons, for the opportunity to work through some of this energy ready, you can wiggle your fingers and your toes, you can stretch out your neck and open your eyes, and welcome back. Okay, so now we're going to play the pause game. You can pause on my face. And I want you to grab a pen and paper, and I want you to just write down, under this full moon in Pisces, I give myself permission to release the following, dot, dot. And then you're gonna write everything down. Okay, so you can pause on my face. It's quick, 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 quick. <laughs> okay, welcome back. I realized I didn't pull, I didn't pull an Oracle card yet. So we're gonna pull one of these. Let's see here. Your hard work is paying off. Your hard work is paying off. Okay, this Ace of Pentacles, this money, this new foundation, this new structure, this new life, opportunity, expansion, love, commitments. It's reversed because it's coming. We still have things to clear out. We still have things to clear out, things to release, old negotiations, contracts, agreements, maybe for work, maybe just energetically, maybe romance, whatever, old belief systems. We're clearing it so we can have more opportunity and more available space to accept all of the other abundance and opportunity that's coming, okay? So don't forget, your hard work is paying off, okay? I love you. Please comment below what you're releasing. If you're interested in the uh, Libra season or the Mercury retrograde live workshop with me, it also comes with a downloadable workbook. The early bird is below. Sign up. I will see you there. Tickets are limited. And um, of course, this is always pay what you can. I appreciate all of your donations. I love you. I will see you in two weeks for a new moon in Libra. Ciao. Ciao, ciao, ciao.